All right, I'm gonna take my Sony A7S in my good dark night lens up in a field. We're gonna go find the Atlas Comet. I'm not too far from my house. I kinda live out in the boonies and I'm not taking my side-by-side -side up here today. I'm supposed to get down below freezing tonight. Yeah, I really don't feel like sitting up here for a couple of hours getting real cold when I don't have to. I'm not sure when I'll be able to view it. I got one video where I found it yesterday and the clouds came. I'll probably have that video up first. I'm not too far away. Get the camera set up, show you what I'm going to be using. Live out in the country. Uh, it's actually quite beautiful. Uh, the last glacier did come through this area. It's called the Driftless Area. We've got a lot of bluffs and hills. An awful lot of wildlife. All right, I got my camera set up. It'll be a little bit yet before the comet starts appearing. Here is my setup. The old trusty A7S. I've done a lot of video work with it in my dark night lens. Minicong, I think is how you pronounce it. Speedmaster. Objective is to create a real good time lapse. All we gotta do is wait now. I think what I'll do is have it set up right there and wait for it to start getting darker. Then I'll start filming, then I'll speed it up and try to get a wicked time lapse. See one star. Here comes a real bright jet. I got my shutter speed cranked up to four thousand one four thousand seven second. Otherwise it's way too bright yet. Oh I just found it. That's back middle of the screen. So we're gonna start our time lapse. That's a military plane. I think I'm going to start the time lapse now.
So that was pretty neat. I got uh, like three videos up now, three different uh, comments in the last five years. <laughs>